Hey everyone, Dr. Claw here to introduce you to business writing for fall 2019. This video will introduce you to the syllabus, policies and procedures, and um, grading expectations and procedures for this class. Uh, I'll do a different video that walks you through the assignments and how that's going to work. Okay, so navigate to our home page on Canvas and you'll see I'm still finalizing it. Everything's mostly done, but um, you'll see a couple of changes, but these links won't change. So I'm going to start us off with the syllabus. This will link to a Google Doc that is also available in the syllabus tab over here. So when you click on syllabus, you'll get to the Google Doc and I suggest that you don't download this syllabus or record all of the due dates and like a hard copy planner yet. Um, I'm pretty sure the due dates are going to stay as they are, but in case they change, um, this is why we use a Google Doc because it is live linked so you can always see the most updated version. Anyway, um, you'll see here our term runs from August 21st to December 13th. However, December 13th is the end of finals week. Uh, the end of classes is December 6th, and that's when all of your assignments will be due aside from the final exam. I will hold weekly office hours on campus, and those are generally going to be Wednesdays from like 8.45 to 11.45, but I will also announce my office hours each week because if I have to come in for a committee on a different day, then I'll do my office hours on that day because I don't live um, at Clemson. Okay, so what are we doing? Business writing. We are going to learn about the theory and practice of business communication in the workplace. You're going to prepare job materials, things like resumes, um, emails. You can do a cover letter if you want. Um, you'll practice a memo. It is an old style of uh, writing, but they still happen. I have an example of a memo from Clemson from spring 2019. So they, this is still a format people are writing in in the business world. Um, you'll work on um, collaborating as a group. And I know everybody hates group work, but this is actually super important um, for the business workplace. And you'd be surprised how frequently you're expected to collaborate remotely. So actually, the fact that you're in this online class and you're going to have to figure out group work in an online setting is a great, great preparation for that you will develop an entire business plan and you'll have opportunities to write them small pieces at a time and revise them, um, but you will write an entire business plan over the, the course of the term. Uh, you'll design a website, you will design uh, marketing materials, and you will plan for and respond to ethical dilemmas. So those are the overall um, types of writings that we're going to be doing. And um, we'll look specifically at identifying the purpose of each thing you write, identifying your audience, which will be a big emphasis in this class, and thinking through how do you combine those. Understand how your purpose can be achieved with the audience that you have. We will attain the following learning object objectives, mastering critical thinking skills and rhetorical concepts, applying effective communication, uh, communication strategies to targeted readers, and composing effectively in a variety of forms and media. So the good news is you don't need to spend money for this class, or not any more than you already have in paying your tuition. We work with Clemson's Open Education Resources Initiative, um, and you'll, you might hear that shorthand OER, which means that I have worked to put together materials for this class to provide you with a textbook and supplementary materials that don't cost you anything. They're all um, open in the Creative Commons um, copyright free domain. You will need some kind of computer. It doesn't have to be a laptop. You'll probably need speakers or headphones. You need to be able to hear things um, such as this video that you're listening to. And I highly recommend cloud storage. Uh, Clemson gives you 50 gigs with Box. Google Drive has unlimited storage with Clemson. And I, I don't know what the limits are for Dropbox, but I highly recommend those. And then um, you'll have links to follow in order to access other course content. So there are two types of coursework that you will be submitting, and they go to two different places. Um, one will be pretty standard for you at this point. You'll submit assignments to Canvas. So those are all of your written assignments. Anything that is not a class discussion goes to Canvas. 
Anything that is a discussion goes to Yellow Dig, and I will walk you through Yellow Dig in another video. All right, so this is an online class. How are you going to succeed? You will need to read all of the announcements I send out and follow me on Yellow Dig to succeed in this class. That's because most of the instructional content for this class will show up on Yellow Dig. So if you follow me, you will get an email containing the content of my post on Yellow Dig whenever I post something. What that does is it lets you know like, oh, Kristen posted something. Here's this piece of instructional information that I need. And you can see that right there in your inbox without even having to go to Yellow Dig. Now you'll probably eventually want to go over to Yellow Dig so you can see what questions people have asked and um, any kind of follow up information I may have provided in the content, the comments on that. But uh, it will give you a huge leg up if you're getting those emails directly in your inbox. So um, since you don't come to class, because we don't have a class, the attendance is sort of taken place by the uh, your participation in Yellow Dig. And uh, you should expect to spend 10 to 12 hours on this class, just like any of your other classes that you would be sitting in for three hours a week and then have you know a couple hours of homework for each class period. Um, I suggest that you log into our class Canvas and check your Clemson email at least three times a week. Keep a schedule. I know we're online, but if you don't plan time to complete this class, you won't complete this class. That's just how it works. So um, I do recommend you set up a schedule for yourself for this class. If you need help with that, please reach out to me and I will actually be posting some uh, time management strategies on Yellow Dig as well. So um, I'll, I'll send some tools out early on in the term. All right, so most assignments are due by 11.59 p.m. on Eastern Standard Time, or um, currently it's Eastern Daylight Savings Time. But uh, whatever the, the current thing is, whether it's Standard Time or Daylight Savings Time, Eastern is our time zone. That's when the due times are. Uh, most assignments will be due on Mondays or Fridays, and I'll talk more about required and firm due dates versus su suggested due dates in um, the video on assignments. Keep in mind that technology fails. Sometimes it's your fault. Sometimes it's Clemson's fault, but it will happen. So leave yourself some extra time. Um, try not to wait until the last minute to submit anything because um, you know that technology can fail. You know that your computer might freeze up or the power might go out or whatever. So just make sure that you're planning ahead and don't leave things to the absolute last minute. Okay, let's see. Um, if you have some kind of problem come up during the semester, please tell me. Uh, if you tell me early, I am much more likely to be able to help you out. And um, you, you don't have to feel like you're going through it alone and that uh, your teachers won't understand. I promise to listen to what you have going on and, and to try to work with you as best as I can. Okay. Um, we're getting close to the schedule and everything. Just a heads up about my response time. I aim for 24 hours for questions that are posted in Yellow Dig where I'm tagged and, um, and for emails. So 24 hours usually I will respond. That excludes weekends and official university closures. So like I might not respond so quickly over fall break or over the weekend or whatever. If I haven't responded in 24 hours um, and you've emailed me or, or tagged me on Yellow Dig, try the opposite uh, method because maybe I missed it. Especially Yellow Dig has gotten kind of bad about sending those um, tag notifications through to me. So um, anyway, if, if you haven't heard back from me, you can always try emailing me if you've um, tagged me on Yellow Dig. Okay. Um, there's a course schedule on our Canvas homepage that you can look at for assignment dates and times, and I'll explain all, all of the assignments in detail as they come up. So don't freak out about that. A great place to look for information is also going to be the Q&A label on Yellow Dig. And again, I'll talk more about that in a, a Yellow Dig video. Um, you can actually see course due dates for my course and for all of your courses using the calendar button on Canvas, which is actually in the purple area. So it's over here. And this is a list of the buttons on our homepage, so you can read more about where those go if you have any questions about them. And here's the course overview of 
the types of assignments you'll be doing and what they're worth. Now, you might see that things might look a little different. There's no 100s on here. Um, there's no percentages on here. Uh, so part of what I've been doing in restructuring this course is converting it to points-based grading and something where you have some choice in the assignments that you complete. So I will go into detail about this in another video, but to give you a sense of how this works, there are some assignments that you are required to complete in order to meet the um, learning outcomes of business writing at Clemson. Those are in red. Uh, so you will need to read all the textbook readings that I assign and complete some critical responses to those. You will need to participate on Yellow Dig. You'll need to do, for example, your Lean Startup Plan, which is a template for the final business plan that you'll be creating um, throughout the term. So anything in red are things that you, you are required to do. Things in black are things that you can do to earn additional points. At the end of the day, oh, and blue stuff is group work. Those are also required, but I wanted you to be able to differentiate between um, what's required individually and what's required in a group. So in this chart, you'll see um, that it tells you how many points each assignment is worth. And then if it's an assignment that has multiple entries, like the textbook critical readings, how, how much are the max points that you can earn for that assignment? And then um, I need to go through and rewrite all of my rubrics in order to do this points thing. So once I've done that, I'll figure out the minimum points to pass. You'll see in all of my rubrics, one of the, um, the levels of mastery is passing. So I've got to just kind of go through and establish the floor uh, for each of those. So basically the max points that you can earn in this class are 638,000 points. However, if you check out the levels of mastery, you only need 540,000 points to get an A. So you've actually got quite a bit of flexibility here in terms of what you do and what you skip. And that should take some of the pressure off too as well in terms of um, freaking out if you don't get everything right the first try. You're also welcome to resubmit assignments throughout the term. Um, so that's just the overview of how the points-based grading will work. This number might change as I determine what the floor is, those minimum points uh, for the assignments as I rewrite those rubrics. Okay, grading, I ask for a 24-hour cooldown after you receive a grade before you reach out to me via email. So if you email me as soon as I release a grade, I'm going to say, hey, give me 24 hours and then reach back out because that's going to give you time to kind of calm down and look at my feedback, look closely at the rubric and um, think about what your actual questions are. Here's some administrative information. So if you have an academic grievance, you can um, contact these people. Um, I'll generally return grades and feedback two weeks after the assignment is due and um, they're available in grades and I'll actually post a video about how to see your grades and my feedback and all that jazz. Um, I'll mostly use rubric grading. Um, I might provide a little bit of extra feedback if I feel like it's necessary for clarification, but you can always request additional feedback uh, to anything that I've returned to you. Okay. Um, Late work is actually not super applicable um, because I'm actually going to give you flexible due dates for most everything in here except for the group work and the, the um, critical reading. So I guess the required textbook reading responses, those would be, uh, those would have this late penalty applied as would any group work. Okay, we've talked about communicating with me. Uh, this is a technology heavy class, so if you have any concerns about your ability to use the technology, please reach out to me as soon as possible. These are the requirements you'll have. Um, these are the university policies and procedure. Uh, academic integrity, please only submit me original work of yours that you've written for this class. If you are interested in building off of work, you've started in another, another class, you'll need to talk to me about that ahead of time. Um, and please don't collaborate with others unless I've given you instructions to do so. And please don't pull work from the internet that you submit as your own. Oh, important. You can only communicate me with me through your Clemson email. This has to do with privacy regulations. So if you email me from a non-Clemson email address, I will write you back and be like, I'm sorry, you have to email me from Clemson. Um, if you have accessibility issues, um, please get in touch with Student Accessibility Services. Um, they can help make your learning more effective throughout the term. And finally, here are some uh, academic support services here to help you. And 
uh, suggestions for online behavior. So, um, oh, and the Title IX statement. Everyone is entitled to uh, an education without harassment. So go ahead and check out the next video about our course schedule.